hello everyone so today we are going to solve this problem okay so let's start so suppose the demand curve for a product given by q equals to 300 minus 2p plus 4i where ij is a actually average income okay and supply curve is given by q equals to 3p minus 50 now in uh, at uh, i equals to 25 at income 25 we have to find what is the market clearing price and quantity for the product okay similarly in part b we have to find at uh, i cost to 50 we have to find the same thing and we have to then we have to draw the graph in part c okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to solve this part a okay and uh, similarly you can solve for part b i will again explain you how to do that and i will draw uh, only uh, i will then we can draw the this graph okay so let me start with part a so in the part a we have to find a uh, market clearing price at a income 25 so to find market uh, market clearing price we have we have to you know equate uh, quantity demanded uh, of the market equals to quantity supply right actually market uh, clearing price is the same as uh, equilibrium price okay so we know that uh, in equilibrium uh, quantity demand equals to quantity supply right we know that now here uh, we have demand curve uh, in which we have the uh, uh, function the actually this demand curve is a function of price and income both so first what we have to do we have to just first find the demand curve qd right which is uh, 300 minus 2p plus 4i so where we have to put this i equals to 25 right so if we put i equals to 25 we will get 2p plus 425 if you multiply 4 multiply 25 which is 100 and plus 300 equals to 400 right so our demand curve would be qd equals to 4d minus 2p so this is the demand curve right now we got our demand curve and the supply curve was given right so we have to just put this uh, both and equate we have to just equate uh, q equals to uh, qd equals to QA, uh, qs right so just let me create it at equilibrium quantity demand equals to quantity supply which means our demand function is 400 minus 2p and supply function was given in the question 3p minus 50 right now from here we can solve this part okay and we can find the what is the equilibrium price so to solve it uh, 400 plus 50 and 3p plus 2p which means p equals to this is this would be 450 divided by 5 2p plus 3p 5 right so 5 so if you divide 450 with 5 you will get 90 right so this would be our market clearing price right for part a now to find market clearing quantity or you can say equilibrium quantity you can put this p either in the demand function or in supply function so let me use here demand function okay so q equals to 400 minus 2p just uh, put the value of p so you will get 490 multiplied to 180 so i'm just writing directly 180 okay if you solve it 400 minus 180 you will get 220 right so this would be our market clearing quantity right for this market so similarly you have to solve for i equals to 50 where you can put at i equals to 50 so you will get uh, the demand curve right let me just solve for you so you can just put here so this line let me here just put the you know 50 so 300 plus sorry this would be minus so minus 2p uh, plus 450 right now for multiply 50, 200 200 plus 300 400 eh, sorry 300 plus 200 uh, 500 
minus 2p so this is the demand curve at i equals to 50 so by solving this demand curve we got the demand curve now you can put the same demand curve in this equation uh, like this and you can find then price and the quantity so i hope you can solve this part b now to draw the demand uh, graph and supply curve uh, i have already uploaded the video regarding that but let me do again here so you have to you don't have to find that the same thing okay so okay so here to draw the demand curve what was the equation qd equals to let me write qd equals to 400 minus 2p and qs equals to what was the qs 3p minus 50 so 3p minus 50 okay so this is demand curve this is supply curve to draw the demand and supply curve first draw the p and q q is a quantity a p is a price so this is the price y axis price okay here q this is q right now uh, let me first draw the demand curve so to draw it uh, we will put q equals to 0 right so if you put here q equals to 0 so you will what you will get you will get what will be the price so quantity is 0 on this axis on the price right so whatever price would come you can mark here on this axis okay so if you put q equals to 0 here you will get 400 minus 2p which means p equals to 400 by 2 200 right so let me mark here 200 so this is 200 now if you put again p equals to 0 okay this was i assume q equals to 0 then i will find this price now if you put here p equals to 0 you will get 400 quantity a, a price is 0 on the on the this axis right on q so let me mark this this a 400 because if you p, p equals to 0 you will get quantity 400 right so let me join this point and you will get the demand curve so this is our demand curve okay similarly to draw the supply curve here we have the equation just put q equals to 0 if you put q equals to 0 you will get uh, p equals to 50 by 3 50 by 3 so let me just write 50 by 3 like this and you, we know that the supply curve is a, a positive okay upward sloping so you can draw like this okay so this is the supply curve right this is the demand curve now we have already found what was the equilibrium or market clearing quantity this was 220 and what was the price that was i think 90 right so this is our answer so this is the drawing for the only part a to draw part b we i have already show you how to find the demand curve you have to just draw the demand curve here okay and again it would be shipped in the right word because the income has increased if you see the question income actually in the part a income was 25 and in part b income was 50 so we can expect that demand curve would be shipped in the right word like this right so you can uh, the same thing you can find from the this equation also so i hope this video will help you to understand how to find market clearing price and uh, how to draw the demand curve okay if you have any doubt you can comment i will try to resolve it okay thank you